one of my favorites, the Keisha. From ringlets to coily curls, Diane Austin shows us some of her favorite styles she created for women going through a life-altering health journey, cancer. She says making these wigs was personal. I was diagnosed with cancer in 2015, breast cancer. And I learned through my oncologist that I would lose all of my hair. So it was really shocking for me. Diane went through surgery and then chemotherapy. She says for her, the timing couldn't have been worse. My daughter was about to graduate high school. I'm in the middle of treatment and I didn't know how that was going to impact her so that she could see me as, you know, not looking sick. Diane's doctor suggested medical hair loss wigs and prescribed her one that insurance would cover. The only problem, Diane says she found nothing that will look like hers. When I walked into like three different spaces and didn't see anything that reflected my hair preferences, it just felt like it made me feel almost invisible. You know, you want to see something that reflects you culturally. Diane says she contacted hospitals across the country looking for a medical hair loss wig that matched her texture, but she says no one had any. So she had to improvise, wearing scarves to cover her hair loss caused by chemotherapy. Eventually, Diane found a wig from a beauty supply store that she recreated, but she wasn't able to use her health insurance and had to miss out on the privacy a hospital setting provides. I remember just being so frustrated and angry, and I was like, well, Diane, stop being angry. Do something about it. And, and that's how the business was born. Coils to Locks was officially launched in 2019 by Diane and her sister, Pamela Shattuck. It's now a wig resource for women of color and any woman with textured hair experiencing medical hair loss. Offering highly textured, coily and curly wigs covered by health insurance through medical prescription at cancer center hospitals across the country, including Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. We spent actually almost four years before we even launched doing the research and understanding the market because I needed to just understand like what what goes into a wig? What makes a wig a good quality? Coils to Locks continuing to grow, now located in 16 hospitals across the country so far. So I thought I could go and get a wig that looked like this. And getting national attention. Diane and her sister appearing on The Jennifer Hudson Show. Hair loss and wanting a wig because of hair loss is not, you know, someone who's being vain and wants a product for, you know, vanity purposes. Hundreds of people have just validated what we're doing by saying to us, I wish this was here for me or my aunt went through this experience and she had this very problem. Thank you for for addressing it. That's right. Well, Diane and her sister Pamela, who created Coils to Locks, have now added braids to their line and plan to add locks as well. They also plan to expand and provide medical hair loss wigs for men and children.